Spring is in bloom, and unfortunately for more than 9 million Canadians, so are their allergies. This week we'll be looking at all things that are related to allergies, and today we're going to start at the beginning. How do you know if you or one of, are you, if you are one of the lucky ones, and how do you know... Sorry, I don't know what that how meant. Do you know, how do you know if you're allergic? Well, yeah, how do you know if you're allergic to something? Uh, that's uh, Dr. Mark Greenwald is the Vice President of the Asthma Society of Canada and the Senior Spokesman for the Canadian Society for Allergic and Clinical Immunology. He joins us this morning in studio. Good to have you here. Good Timely morning. to have you. Good morning. Um, uh, first of all, I mean, is it, is it just, I don't know, anecdotal or are more and more people developing allergies? There's no question that more and more people are developing allergies. Uh, now that we have decent records tracking over the past few decades, mm -hmm. we see that the number of people with allergies and asthma has increased several fold. Luckily, it seems to be about plateauing now. So, first of all, the signs then that you're allergic to something? Well, a typical hay fever or allergic rhinitis, in other words, an allergic reaction that causes the nose to be inflamed, uh -huh. it drips, it's blocked, it feels like it's, you can't breathe through it, you're sneezing all the time, your eyes are red and itchy, you have this throat that you want to kind of scratch out, and it could turn into an asthma-like situation as well. So, uh, with Katie's here with us, and, and she, you just uh, administered a, an allergy test to her. Tell us what happened here. Okay, what happens with the allergy test is once we've taken the history, we put on the suspected things that might be uh, the cause of her allergies. Okay. We put on a positive and negative just to see that she's reacting appropriately. She's okay. not, here she's not reacting just to the physical trauma. Here we have the dust mites. It's a small little thing happening here, but look what's happening with the cat the tree pollens, and especially the ragweed. And we, we actually come and we, we measure them. There's a number of different ways to measure them, but we basically get a comparative size and, and know by that the degree of reactivity. So, so this skin prick test, I mean, basically, yeah, as you said, you can, you can tell not only if you're allergic to something, but how allergic you are. Yes, and we use it, if, for example, if a person undergoes treatment, to follow the treatment. Does it disappear? Does it get smaller? Do newer things get added on over time? Right, okay. So now, what, what happens next? I mean, what, what do we do? Is, is, this, is this test now completed? Or we, well, well, pretty much, because we can, you can actually feel it and see it, and I'm sure Katie will tell us it's pretty itchy, itchy. right? Yeah. So this, this is actually what happens inside the eyes, the nose, and the chest and skin in allergic individuals. Those so, specific things cause that kind of reaction. What does she do now? What do you okay, do? so we've taken the history, we've found out about the family, mm -hmm. done a physical examination, checked the eyes, the nose, the chest, now we know what's going on here. So the way to manage allergy is a, a number of different ways. First of all, you gotta get to your doctor and not just kind of brush it off because allergies can lead to these allergies being worse, more allergies coming on, and ultimately can lead to asthma itself developing. Yeah. So we get the history properly. If necessary, a referral to the allergist. In the meantime, we can do what is called avoidance. If you have dust mite allergy, which seems to be one of the things that's coming up here on Katie, we have dust mite proof encasings in the home, put them on your pillow and your mattress. Important point is they have to be dust mite proof because most of them on the market are not. Okay. Then uh, if you have a very strong pollen allergy, you, you gauge your time during the day, going out later in the day after the pollens have risen up is a good idea. Keep your windows shut in allergy season, not open keeps the pollens from coming in. Okay. And there are various filters that can be used. So there's avoidance. Then we have medications. Medications will take care of symptoms. The itch, the sneeze, the blockage. Get a little sprays, either take the pill by mouth or use the thing topically. So that's symptom control. But ultimately what you want to do is stop being allergic. Okay, yeah. And to stop being allergic, the only proven method is to actually get proper um, allergy shots. So, so these, these are things that that you inject over time, mm -hmm. and what it does is take the abnormal immune reaction, which is the allergy, and shuts it off. And again, it prevents this allergy, other ones from forming, and it's now been shown to act this intervention to, to prevent allergy, uh, asthma from, it, from evolving. It worked for me. Thank you very much, Doctor. Good to talk to you. Thank you. It's been good. Uh, coming up next is Canada.